As singers, we play the most amazing instrument on planet Earth. And in this session, I want to give you a tour of the basic structures of the larynx and how those structures work in order to create sound. So here it is. This is your larynx. And this is just a small, this is a, a large version of what's much smaller in our body. So this fits right here. And if you feel in your throat, you can feel these shields, the, this first um, part of the structure of the larynx I'll introduce is the thyroid cartilage. And it's a like shield shaped. It's got these two wings to it here. And that's what we feel right here on the sides of our throat. And um, if you run your finger from your chin all the way down the front of your throat, you'll feel a little notch right there, a little V-shaped notch. And that's this notch right here in the front of the thyroid cartilage. The base of the larynx is the cricoid cartilage right here. And it's ring shaped and it's kind of like a signet ring. It's bigger here in the back than it is in the front. And all of the structure of the larynx just kind of rests on the cricoid cartilage. And then the third structure of the larynx are the arytenoid cartilages right here. They're pretty cool looking and they kind of turn like this and they can glide to the sides. They're pretty intricately designed. Now the last part of the larynx I'm going to introduce is the vocal cords themselves. And as we look down, so this is as if we were looking down the throat, you see these two flaps right here. Those are the vocal cords. And as the arytenoid cartilages turn out like this, the vocal cords open, and then as they spin like this, they close. Now the way this structure works and the way we produce tone is that pressure will build up as these vocal cords are brought together tightly across the top of the throat. Pressure builds up from the lungs coming out underneath and eventually that pressure blows the vocal cords apart and then they quickly come back together again. And that pressure remains steady because the air continues to flow and more pressure builds up and they pop apart again and come back together and more pressure builds up and that process repeats itself over and over. When a soprano is singing a high C, that process is happening over a thousand times per second. The vocal cords are coming apart and coming back together. It's an amazing, miraculous process of uh, what's involved in creating sound. The uh, muscles that work and are connected here between the thyroid cartilage and the cricoid cartilage are the muscles that are most responsible for the pitch and the variance of pitch. As we sing higher, this thyroid cartilage right here rocks forward like this and the cricoid cartilage rocks back. What that does is creates an elongation of the vocal cords here and more tautness to the cords and so they phonate higher. When we sing lower pitches, the thyroid cartilage here rocks backwards, the thyroid cartilage or the cricoid cartilage rocks forward and the cords get shorter and thicker and we sing lower pitches as a result. It's an amazing process. It's a miraculous instrument. There's a lot more involved than that, but that gives you a quick snapshot and an overview of how this instrument works.